Hello guys, today I'll show you a new phone from Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus, which seems to be really nice and interesting. So, let's take a closer look on it. phone is supplied with a transparent bumper. Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus is made from plastic, build quality is very good. At the bottom there is micro USB port and little holes for dynamic. Although there are two whole sections, the dynamic is one and is not stereo. The phone can work either with two nano SIM cards or with one nano SIM card and one micro SD memory card. Redmi 5 Plus has 5.99 inches Full HD Plus display with 18 to 9 aspect ratio and it's really comfortable to use it, especially to surf internet or to read. Viewing angles are even better than in Xiaomi Mi Max 2. In addition, the phone feels very comfortable in the hand. The phone has 32GB of internal memory and user has about 24GB available. There are three on-screen buttons, however, you can disable them and operate these functions with gestures. The smartphone has MIUI 9 with all its great features, such as split-screen option, screen recording function, amazing optimization and others. The phone has 3GB of RAM and with all applications closed, user has about 1.5GB available. The smartphone is a kit with Snapdragon 625 octa-core processor, which is enough for most games and applications. Here you may see some benchmark results. Fingerprint sensor works perfectly fine and without mistakes. The phone has 12 megapixels rear camera and 5 megapixels front camera. The only moment I don't like is that rear camera sticks out of the phone body so that it may get scratched with time. Video and photo quality is pretty good, here you may see some samples. Redmi 5 Plus has 4000 mAh internal battery, which is enough for 2 days of active use. It takes 2 hours and 40 minutes to get the battery charged. So, to sum up, I can say that the phone is really good and pleasant to work with. It has amazing screen with comfortable aspect ratio, MIUI 9 with all its great features, flawless work of a fingerprint sensor, good performance and battery life. The only moments I don't like is that rear camera sticks out of the phone body and that it has micro USB instead of USB Type-C. So if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in comments. Remember to subscribe and click like button if you enjoyed this video. See you next time.